Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. The body of former President George H.W. Bush arrived in Washington, D.C. this afternoon where he will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. The Capitol Rotunda will be open to the public to pay their respects until Wednesday morning. The man who confessed to killing Natalie Bollinger will spend the next 48 years in prison. Joseph Lopez pleaded guilty today to second degree murder. Prosecutors say he was responding to a Craigslist ad calling for someone to kill the 19 year old Adams County woman. Lopez maintained it was Bollinger who took the ad out in the first place. Looking ahead, tomorrow is Colorado Gives Day, and this is a day meant to encourage donating to nonprofits in our state. Community First Foundation started Gives Day in 2010 and has since raised $182 million for Colorado nonprofits. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your forecast. Some flurries tonight and then cold tomorrow will be in the high 30s and 40s, below seasonal averages throughout the rest of the week. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.